Hi, I'm Gabby Gamas, art therapist and founder of Annie Creative Studio for Wellness. We are bringing you along with the McNay Art Museum and Mind Science, a four segment series to help aid in stress relief, relaxation, and creation. Today's episodes will be creating in response to sound. Sometimes relaxing doesn't necessarily look tranquil. Sometimes simpleness and moving freely will bring us a lot of peace. So what we will be doing in this segment is we will be responding to sound by making marks on paper. For today's creation, you will need a sketchbook or two sheets of paper, a black pen, markers or color markers, and we're ready to create. I'm pretty sure that many of you during this last couple of months, consciously or unconsciously, have been surrounding yourselves with artistic things. Either during your morning, evening walks, your change of routine, incorporate a new hobby, during your cooking, during this time you're spending with your children, or if you're a young person or a young adult, with the things you've been exploring and experimenting as you're trying to live and adjust through these trialing and different times. So my invitation for you today is, um, will require a couple of very simple supplies that you probably have at home. So just regular paper, a sketchbook or white pieces of paper or any paper really can do. Um, a couple of pens or markers, whatever you have at home that creates a mark on a piece of paper will be sufficient for this segment. But before we start with art making, I'd like to invite you to take a moment to acknowledge the here and the now, to acknowledge yourself in this space where you are. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer myself into this chair. And if you were sitting already, I will just invite you then to really position yourself in a way where you create awareness of where you are, where your legs are, where your feet are, and how your posture is. And more than relaxing and meditating for this exercise, we're really gonna do stretching. You probably have been busy throughout the day. The part of the body that we are using the most are our hands, especially if your job involves technology. We're using a lot of our fingers and our posture is constantly shifting. Um, we probably start pretty straight on our chair and slowly we start moving our bodies. And we probably sometimes also favor some fingers more than others. So we're just gonna do very simple stretches. I'm gonna invite you guys to reach your arms forward as far as you can. And you're going to slowly lean towards the front, keeping both of your feet on the ground. And you're going to stop in a position that feels comfortable but challenging. And you want to pull yourself back. We're going to bring our hands down. And we're going to twist ourselves using our chair. Acknowledge the parts of your body that maybe are a little bit sensitive. Don't overstretch yourself. You want to find a stopping point depending on how you're feeling. You want to let your body really speak to you when it is necessary to stop. We're going to stretch now our feet out. And we're going to slowly let our hands. I'm going to roll slowly back up. So gently, we're going to stretch our feet out with our toes facing up. And we're gonna roll down slowly. Remember, everybody is different. So you wanna listen to yours and you wanna find a stopping point when it's not feeling okay or comfortable. You stretch your arms and try touching your toes if you can. If this is where your position stops, that's completely fine. The goal is really to stretch our body, to create awareness on our muscles and let them know that we know they exist. 
We're going to move on now to some stretches standing since many of us spend a lot of time sitting. We want to bear some weight on our feet. So we're going to go ahead and use our chair, your stool, or whatever furniture you have close to your house as a supporting object. We're going to separate our feet slightly. And again, it's very basic stretching. And as you're stretching, I want you to think, when was the last time that you allowed yourself to stretch? If you can, I want you to try walking forward with your hands and stopping at a point where your body tells you. And then you can come back and slowly roll up. We're gonna stretch our hands to the sides and slowly, very, very slowly, we're gonna push them up. When we move slow, we are more conscious of our body. Our body is our vehicle that takes us places. And if we think about it, we really don't acknowledge our movements that much throughout the day. So it is really nice to let our body know that we listen to it and that we care for it. This allows circulation our heart gets to pump blood. If you're able to do any exercises with support, that helps create balance and strengthen your balance. These are good exercises for our brain. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shake it out. Now we're here and now in the present moment. If you've allowed yourself to stay with us for these minutes, we're gonna go ahead and leave outside the room whatever troubles or stresses or chores we have. And we're gonna give ourselves permission to enjoy this moment. So we're gonna prepare our sheet. And on today's exercise, I'm gonna invite you guys to turn on or tune in with sound and with mark making. You can choose any medium you want. I'm gonna grab a black pen. And I have some pre-recorded sounds that we will be following. They're set up in a random way, so I do not know what's gonna come up. And that's pretty usual in our daily lives. We encounter things out of nowhere and we're ready to tackle them as they come. This time we're gonna tackle them on our piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the playlist. And what we will be doing, and my invitation for you is to put a mark on the paper Without thinking it too much, allow your body to tell you what you want to do. Allow your hand to move freely on the paper according to the sound. So you can move fast, you can move slow, you can repeat movements, you can do just a single mark. And this is going to really be between you and the paper. Now, if you want to try both hands, I would encourage you to allow yourself the freedom with two hands.
who had tried something like that before? Have you ever encountered yourself maybe listening to music and just tapping your feet to the beat of the sound? So what we did is something similar to that. But our tapping our feet to the, to the rhythm of a sound is on the piece of paper. We're leaving a mark. So that outlet that we typically use with our body when we're trying to follow the rhythm of a sound or a song now has created a tangible mark. And it might not mean anything at the moment. However, my question to you is, how did that feel? Which sound did you enjoy the most? Which sound did you struggle the most? Did you notice that you were more in your head than in your body? Why do you think that is? Was there a sound or a line that you feel very uncomfortable or disconnected with? If you've identified that one, let's start with that particular line. I'm gonna invite you to choose a different color or a different medium. It can be crayon, a color pencil, a marker, and try and find within all the mark making you have on your paper, that particular line that troubled you a little bit, either because you were too much in your head and you didn't know how to make that line or that mark, or because you think it ruined what you were doing on your paper, or because that sound just didn't sit well with you. Can you think of a way to beautify that line? So let's go ahead and look at that particular line or pattern or mark that you make. We're gonna add a couple of elements to it that you think can enhance that mark. I'm gonna go on my scribble that I have here on my kind of loop line. I'm just gonna go and add some more conscious marks. And I can spend as much time as I want in this process. And my question to you is, you can keep working, but I am going to pose a question for you as you're working. How does it feel now to encounter that mark? What are you noticing? Does this provide more a sense of control for you? Do you think you've been able to unify your mark making by this new addition that you are consciously putting on the paper? Think about your life. Think about your day. Let's not go too far. Has there been something that perhaps feels like this line? The sound didn't sit well with us. The mark making didn't feel right. Is there something that you could do and add to that mark of this day that can help unify and connect and make more cohesive your experience with that moment. Because you see, these exercises allow us to really reflect our inside world in a tangible way. I'm gonna invite you to now look at your piece and choose the area that you think looks the best to you. And you can use your hands or your fingers as like a viewfinder if you wanna select a section and stop and say, oh, I really like how this looks. And create like an imaginary box around that section. What would you add to that section? You can grab whatever material or medium you want and you can work on that area. I'm sure some of you are still working on your piece and hopefully this just was a little spark of inspiration and you're continuing to build on it. 
some sections inspired you to keep going to add more color, add more lines. Maybe some of you even turn on some music and continued with the process of responding um, through mark making, through sounds or through music. I'd like to invite you to stay with that piece for a little bit longer and continue working on complementing or adding or removing the pieces of your final design. And I hope this, these couple of minutes have allowed you to disconnect from the outside world, from the busy pace we have, and stayed present in the here and now and allowed you to have some insight on where you are today. Until next time.